Yeah, so uh, hello everyone once again. Uh, we will go over the demonstration of Winery. So briefly, the agenda is as follows. We don't cover installation and radon particles cloning and integrating into Winery. We have a supplementary slide deck for that, which we would provide as, uh, using the second laptop at the demo. So we would go over the modeling process using two UI components, using binary management UI and the topology modeler UI. We show how, what entities can be created, what is currently there, which features are supported, how the topology, application topology can be modeled, extracted in the form of a cloud service archive, uh, and describe the structure of the archive, and show how the blueprints and application model look like, models look like, uh, covering our toy example, the sock shop application, and, and also show interactively how to model an application. So, uh, yeah, essentially, binary is available and it can be installed using Docker Compose or just Docker. And the repository is automatically integrated into the binary repository and can be used as is. When, when binary started, we first entered the management UI where we see the main modeling constructs as the main tabs. So we basically see various node types which can be instantiated in the service template in the form of node templates. Yeah, this basically is Radon modeling profile covering various aspects of fast modeling and, and related components. Uh, same for relationship types which cover Tosca standard relationship types as well as the Radon specific things like triggers relationship type related to fast functions. Uh, the modeler can of course introduce new, new components and depending on the type, the structure of the UI changes based on the Tosca specification. So as well, we can also create different artifact types. Currently we cover yeah, all the essential artifact types we need uh, such as files, art, Ansible artifacts or, or yeah, Python scripts. Uh, we define capability types and as well as policy types. This all essentially is used in the service template, which is uh, basically a, an, an instance of application topology representing the component architecture we want to model. So for example, if we go into the sock shop application, this is already existing blueprint available in radon particles and we open the topology. This is, this is currently a simple uh, application consisting of two components. It's a, it's a sock shop application hosted on a, on a local machine, on a workstation, for example. And the modeler can instantiate properties, defining the available properties in the type, uh, attach artifacts, for example. So, for example, we want to attach an artifact to a, function as, uh, to a, to a serverless function model. And uh, yeah, essentially define, for example, policies. So we can manage policies for the template. We can add policies, uh, defining, yeah, for example, an auto scale policy. And uh, yeah, specifying the properties and attaching those policies to the templates, which can be used by other tooling for different reasons. Uh, yeah, we, we can specify the policy is active. So the, the topology, the model topology, for example, we can also look at the toy example. The toy example uh, represents the thumbnail generation program uh, where, uh, where we basically extend the, the toy example to, to show that there could be multiple instances. And I want to emphasize that essentially the model, uh, the result of modeling in binary can be either abstract or or actually specific representing different instances. Like for example, here we see that different functions are hosted, hosted in different regions. Uh, and this of course can be specified and defined in, pro in, in properties and used for, for the verification tool, for example, where we actually check the region. So in this case, the function is hosted in Ireland and in London. And this, this template represents an actual, it shows instances of components. Yes, and uh, basically when the template is, is modeled, it could be exported. We basically just export it in the form of a CSAR. And uh, yeah, currently I already have them 
some of them exported and I will just demonstrate you how they look like. So the Cloud Service Archive has a standardized structure. It basically, it has a Tosca metadata file which describes all the contents of the, of the file, of the archive. And there we can see typically also the entry point, the main um, definition which, which is used as, yeah, as, as, as a entry point to the application. And this definition, contains all the topology, all the modeled application topology. Uh, so if we have a look, we see the SOC, SOC shop application model here. We see the node templates and used relationship templates and the policies, as well as all the imports we need. And these imports are also contained in the archive. So the archive is self-contained and can be used uh, as an input to for the orchestrator. Uh, currently, we don't have uh, an, an entire synchronization among the structures, but this is a Tosca compliant uh, cloud service archive structure, which also exports the, the related files. So for example, let's go back to the topology of the toy example. And we can see here that, for example, a, th a thumbnail uh, function, thumbnail generation function also has a handler. The, so the Python uh, code. And if we export this uh, template, we can see also the files exported as well. So if you go into the service templates, the all the required artifacts are exported together with the template. Uh, so essentially to to demonstrate how how a user can model a new template, we for example might create a new test template. Let's uh, specify. We currently switch off versioning to, yeah, because it's, it's it's still a work in progress. Uh, so to model the template, we go into the topology modeler. And for example, we want to represent a, a simple use case related to data pipeline modeling using the Radon Apache knife uh, node types. And in this case, we might represent, for example, a pipeline hosted on the runtime, on the NiFi runtime, run and the matching in, in Tosca YAML specification happens by means of requirements and capabilities. So here we can see that a pipeline requires a host uh, capability, which is provided by the runtime. And therefore we can connect host the capability with the uh, requirement with the capability. And therefore we have a hosted on relationship type. Similar process happens, for example, when and the function related, the fast related node types are modeled. So we, we might say that the function uh, yeah, is hosted on an AWS platform or maybe Azure functions are hosted on Azure functions. Uh, this, these templates then could be saved and, and eventually exported into the CSAR. So I will just show you the results of the export. CSAR is, is basically a, yeah, a zip archive. So um, let me show you the structure. So again, it has a meta, meta file describing all the files, all the types, definitions, and, and actual, for example, icons, license information, readme files. So it's a self-contained uh, archive containing all the files model used in the model. Uh, and here we can see for example, that all the definitions we used in the archive are imported, including the inherited types. So going back to the model, if we if we look at node types, these types are typically inherited from the generic types, which which is also needed to represent both kinds of models. We can show instance-based models, which are deployable models, or we can use abstract models. And if you look into inheritance, for example, we can see that AWS platform inherits from a generic cloud platform node type, which allows us to model also generic topologies, uh, more, more the provider agnostic format. Yes, so uh, basically uh, when, whenever the, <clears throat> the topology is modeled, we also can specify properties. Uh, defined on the level of type, we instantiate them. And uh, yeah, I mean, some of them are instantiated from the inherited types from parents. So for example, if you have a default property defined in the parent, 
it is already instantiated on the level of template. Of course, it can be modified here and uh, yeah, essentially saved and reflected into the exported format. Uh, so this is basically it about the, the overall modeling workflow.